welcome to Awaken the Rebel. Thank you so much for being with me here. I appreciate you. Let me tell you, can I just gush for a hot second and get like kind of weird and ishy gushy with you way too early on in the show? <laughs> is this too soon? I'm sorry. Is this too soon for you? Um, I just want to thank you for being here because there is just something about doing this podcast that's really feeling so soul satiating and so good. It's just making me feel like my soul has a home and like I'm able to be self-expressed and in that self-expression, I truly feel like I am able to fulfill my purpose. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here, for giving a shit (laughs) about what the hell is about to come out of my mouth. And, um, yeah, my effort is to help you fulfill your purpose. So let's get to it because I like to keep my solo casts short. So today we're going to talk about a book called Wolf Pack by, by Abby Wambach. She is a New York Times bestselling author and U.S. soccer Olympic gold medalist. So she's just like a total impressive, amazing beast of goodness. And I just, I love her so much. I've of course heard about her. She's big time in the women's soccer world. She's so impressive. And I, I really got to soak her in when I got to see her on Marie TV. She was interviewed by Marie Forleo. And in that interview, it was super juicy because she, she wrote this book called Wolfpack. And she actually is a co-founder of Wolfpack Endeavor, which is really a revolutionizing le- leadership development for women, uh, mostly in the workplace, but obviously everywhere. And I believe the timing is impeccable for that. I believe that it is a time right now when people are listening more than they ever have in the past to women, which is so encouraging and so wonderful. And it's exciting to me because obviously my whole thing is awaken the rebel, sort of like inviting people to be bad, you know, a little bit and see where that takes them uh, in the direction of their highest good and the highest good of those around them. And so th- this idea of like, fuck little red riding hood, let's be the wolf and also let's run in packs really gets me juiced up. It really gets me excited because I think there's just so much truth to that. And so it's just so necessary, I think, for us as women to start to really band together to have any type of real impact with the way things change moving forward. And they are completely changing if we haven't all noticed, which I'm sure we have. Um, But I, I wanted to talk about something specific, actually. The story that she told during this Marie Forleo episode, and I'll, I'll definitely put the, the episode in the show notes. Ever since I've heard this story, it has literally informed my life for like the, the month after I heard it, because there's just something so just completely powerful about it. So Abby was talking about how she has this mentor, this female mentor in soccer she's looked up to for years. And she finally got to play this like seven on seven women's soccer game, just kind of like a scrimmage, like for funsies. So they're playing against each other. Unfortunately, they're on opposite teams. So sad. And Abby's team was winning. And her mentor is getting really pissed about it. And the goalie had the ball. The, the mentor's team, the goalie on her team had the ball. And Abby's talking about how the mentor chick turns around and looks at the goalie because she's just so freaking angry that they're losing. And she goes, give me the fucking ball. <laughs> like, Abby just was like stunned by the power that came out of her mouth. She was stunned that a woman could demand something like that, could be so demanding. She'd never seen a woman behave like that before. And then it was just inspiring to see what she did with the soccer ball after that happened. And so I feel like that was like a really pivotal moment for her. And I think that's why she told that story in the episode. And I gotta be honest, it was actually, hearing that story was a pivotal moment for me because it really, I felt very confronted with like all the ways in my life that I still am wanting to people please or I still am wanting to like, you know, sort of uh, vote for harmony, maybe at the expense of myself, whether it be in my family or with my friends or wherever, my work, you never know. This kind of like, you know, this kind of codependent shit like runs rampant and everywhere because it's sort of natural for you to tune into other people's needs and sort of forego your own, not even realizing you're doing it. And so when I heard this story about this chick being like, give me the fucking ball, it was so like stunning in the best way. I was like, oh my God, that's so like beast mode. I love it. And so since then, I've actually, it's become this like sort of joke with me and some of my girlfriends. I just talk about like, you know, maybe I got in a fight with my husband and they're like, yeah, you're just telling him to give you the fucking ball. And I'm like, that is exactly what's happening. (laughs) So it's actually just become this little signature sentence that we throw around 
that really signifies like when you're really taking your power back and when you're really demanding what you deserve or when you're really advocating for yourself. And I believe that those are things that women need support to learn how to do. I feel like we've had a lot of generations and centuries of really not having space or room to do that. So I feel like we're all kind of learning together how to do that more better. So this is my invitation to you, my friends. I want you to think about where in your life are you avoiding demanding what you deserve where in your life could you take back the ball where in your life are you giving up too much power and maybe just going easy go with the flow when you really should be saying give me the fucking ball and then when you get that ball you get to take your life by the reins you get to step up into your power and your potential and so just you know just soak that in a little bit, boo boo. Just think about it. Cause I would love for you to spend a little time thinking about that. And then I would love to hear what are the ways that you are going to do it differently as a result of hearing this podcast. That would literally make my life. You can feel free to email me directly at shereen at awakentherebel.com. That will be it for today. Thank you for uh, having some funsies. We're trying to keep it under seven minutes with these solo casts. And today we got 6.05. Oh, yeah. So if you like this podcast, please do share it with someone you think might need to demand the fucking ball. Uh, rate it five stars. Subscribe. I got your back. I will always be sending you. Um, it usually is like a solo cast and then a guest interview. And then the next week will be a solo cast. That's kind of what's been the flow of things around here lately. So I hope you like these shorties they're fun for me and also I think sometimes it doesn't take much to really make a big change in your life so I would love to hear how this podcast lands for you and if you are going to make a change I would literally make my day so all right that's pretty much it check us out at awakenrebel.com and I'll see you on the next one bye